Hey, yo, it's the wavy boys. Got you. I know the new LeBron. Steve. Oh. Hey, yo, it's the wavy boy. You feel me? Hey, when I tell y'all we up next, we up next. Yeah, we is. You feel me? I need all y'all to like, comment, subscribe. Look at all our videos. You know what I'm saying? We're the latest trio out right now. You know what I'm saying? Don't mess with us. You feel me? You feel me? It's the wavy boys. What's up with everybody? You feel me? What's popping with y'all? Before I start this video, I just want to let everybody know it's a sad day in America for anybody. You feel me? We have a passing of not only the GOAT in my eyes, but a great father figure, a great person, a great, you know, just individual, period. Kobe Bryant. You feel me? The Black Mamba. When I heard about this at work, I damn near wanted to break down crying because I grew up watching Kobe. Like, I was born in 96. So that's the year he was drafted, you feel me? Straight out of high school, you feel me? 18 years old, you feel me? A kid. You feel me? We coming into the league as a kid, not knowing you might go down as the greatest player to ever play this game. You feel me? The next Michael Jordan up, you feel me? That was my Jordan. You know, everybody who watched Jordan back in the day on the Bulls, that was y'all era, you feel me? This is my Jordan, you feel me? Anybody who was born in 96 and really got to watch Kobe, Knows how good he was. Knows how much he put his heart and soul on the court in every game. Played through injuries, broken fingers, torn Achilles, all type of injuries. Just so he can prove that, you know, who he is. You feel me? And even off the court, he was a great father. This man has, what, four daughters now? Three now? You know, sorry, you know, he lost his daughter today to Gigi. Let's not forget about her and also the other seven people that was on that plane. You feel me? My prayers go out to everybody and their family. You feel me? Losing somebody is... It's hard, you feel me? I've lost people in my life, you feel me? It's not something you want to go through in life, you feel me? So losing somebody like Kobe, like, I felt like I knew him, you feel me? Watching him so long, I felt like he was a part of my family, you feel me? Anybody who knows me knows how badly, you know, I love watching Kobe. If I didn't get to watch the game, I'm looking at his stats. If I'm not looking at his stats, I'm watching highlights. Anytime Kobe played, I guarantee I watched the highlights or anything. One person I know who's truly going to be hurt by this is Derek Fisher. Every ring Kobe has ever won, he's won with Derek Fisher. They both have both have five rings with each other. That's damn near like a uh, uncle to his kids, Shaq. You feel me? Like anybody who ever just like played with Kobe, played against Kobe, knows what kind of person he is. Like Kobe in the offseason would help NBA players today, to this day, in the offseason get better, showing them moves, how to get open, how to do this, how to do that. Teaching them how to become a great person on and off the court. Not only being a basketball player, but also being a human being. Because at the end of the day, they're all still human like us. You feel me? They do the same thing we do. You feel me? They just get paid to do it. They have a talent. And this man has a talent that not a lot of people have. You feel me? Like, <laughs> like Kobe was an icon. He truly was. Like, like it's hard. Truthfully, it's hard just to talk about it. Because all day I, were, I didn't want to talk to nobody. I was in my, I was literally in my feelings. Didn't want to speak to anybody. You know, everybody was down. People, customers coming in, everybody down. Why? It's because Kobe was, like, his impact was that much. You feel me? Losing him is like, like losing Jordan. Literally, if Kobe, if Jordan died, that's how this is. We'd be feeling the same way because it's like, how do you lose Kobe? <laughs> like, you know, I'm a huge Laker fan. I've been a Laker fan my whole life. Never liked the other team. Always Kobe. Even when we retired, who you like? Lakers. Oh, you like him because LeBron? No. Kobe all day. Kobe is the GOAT. Kobe in my eyes is better than LeBron. You feel me? He was the next up Jordan. You feel me? I guarantee Jordan can vouch for this man. He did everything the same, but made it better. I call him Jordan 2.0. Like, Kobe was amazing. And losing him today was probably the worst thing in the world right now. You feel me? 26 days into the year, and... Kobe, when we lose Kobe. And not only that, you feel me, his daughter, who also played basketball, who was also an upcoming star, you feel me, 13. She was 13. Not even just she played sports. She was a little girl. Didn't get to live her life. Didn't get to witness, you know, doing things for herself and going to college and just living life. She didn't get to do any of that. She died at 13. 
So before I start this video on this reaction or anything, I want to let y'all know, you feel me? Never take life granted. You feel me? If you love somebody, you got feelings for somebody, make sure you always get to talk to them. Tell them how you feel that day or whatever, because you never know if you can talk to them the next day. Because life is not promised for anybody. Tomorrow is not promised. You never know who will wake up. Just always cherish your loved ones, everybody, because I promise you his family right now is... They're in a deep, deep, dark place right now, and they need everybody to, you know, just keep producing love for them, keep showing love, and just helping them get through it, because we all feel in this pain for them. We truly are. So, before, oh my God, like we truly, oh. I got a reaction on Kobe's top 40 highlights, you feel me? This is the greatest player of all time in my eyes. I don't care what nobody says. He's always been the greatest player in my eyes. Kobe is amazing. Mamba mentality will forever, forever live on. <laughs> it will never die. Mamba mentality forever. You feel me? If you ain't team Kobe, I don't, hey, you got to go. There's only team Kobe over here. <laughs> and that's on me. So let's get to this video. You feel me? <sighs> Look at him. Look at him. Okay. That boy never gave up on a play. Kobe always wanted to be the best player on the court. Guaranteed. This man knew multiple languages just so he can talk to players on the court so he, so the other team wouldn't understand him, so they can run plays and other teams wouldn't know. He even learned another language so he could talk mess to Tony Parker, who was one of his greatest friends, because they had battles. You feel me? Like, battles. You got to ask my brother. My brother's a diehard Warrior fan. Imagine being a diehard Warrior fan while Kobe's in the league. Kobe stopped a lot of players from getting rings. Why? It's because he wanted it more. No matter what team was young, know, no matter... He was on the Lakers forever. But no matter who was on his team, what, what kind of players he had, he always played with the same energy. Did y'all not watch his last game? 61 points. Like, it was nothing. The Black Mama would live forever. Shaq, he gives it to Walden. Here comes Kobe. Kobe's the main man. Five, five, oh. got it. Oh. Oh, stop playing with him. Oh, stop playing with him. Look at that. You see the clock running down? Poise. Oh. What how looking? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, my. Look at this. I remember this play. No foul call. He was pissed. He like, where's my foul? Look at him. Look at the ref. He looking at the ref like, where's my foul at? See? Where's his and one? Oh, hit the fade away. Oh, okay. Dunk it. Okay, with the layup. Okay, Kobe. Oh, uh, Hashay, Batty ain't a blender. Was that y'all me in the paint too? Get off me, y'all. Oh, this the old school days right here. Uh, uh. Oh, what I tell you? Michael Jordan. Look at that poised face. He like, hey, I've been here before. Oh my god. Y'all let me know which Kobe did y'all like better, number eight or twenty-four? Cause if you ask me, ah, I, I might go with eight. Only because he was more active. Like he was really dunking on people. Like later in his career, he started hitting the post-up game, the fadeaway game, and you know, he was slower with it. He was like Mayweather when it came to boxing. Mayweather let you do whatever you want. But at the end of the day, he still go win. And that's what Kobe did. You can, you can do all that BS because I'm smart. You feel me? I'm going to play my game, but have you thinking like you playing yours. That Mamba mentality. That's how smart he was. And he made sure if this game on the line, I'm going to get the last shot. 
No matter if he has to fade away three, if a dude in his face, like guarantee you, as these highlights go on, you can start seeing a lot of buzzer beaters, game winners, all type of stuff. Like Kobe was that amazing. <laughs> He won three rings of eight, two rings of 24. Look at that. Was that a left hand? Was that left hand? Left hand. Kobe did it with both hands. Look, he like, hey, that was, that was beautiful. Kobe. And one on Jason Kidd. Get off me, Jason. Look how talented he was. Look at him. Dunk. Look at him! Oh my god. Dunk it. Kobe was amazing. Look, number eight. Didn't I tell you number eight was bopping on people? 24 has some done too, don't get me wrong. Oh, come here, Fader. Oh, bucket. Oh, what I tell you, game winners. Jason Kidd was getting Kobe. Kobe was working him every year. Jason Kidd a Hall of Famer, but Kobe is just Kobe. Oh. What you gonna do with it? What you gonna do with it? Kobe, get up, get up. He don't give up. Game on the line. Kobe wants the ball, no matter if he's dribbling it. Somebody put up a shot. He's going for it. Stop playing with him. Come here, Karolinko. Where he at? Where he at? Look at him. Look at him. He don't give up. Look at Kobe. Look at Kobe. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. I think this was 2010 right here. The year they won a championship. Look at young Kobe. Where Kobe at? Where Kobe at? Look, poise. Like, calm down. You've not been here before. Look, he's been there before. Oh, my God. RIP to the gold. I tell you, play with messed up hands, broken fingers, and all. Y'all mean. Y'all not doing it. Split the double team, got hit. Still, look at this. This man practiced these shots 24 7, I guarantee. Ugh. Dunk on him. Dunk on him. I remember that play. Get off me. That's when they had Paul Pearson on them and thought they was doing something. Look at him. Oh, look at him. Behind the back. Oh, Sean Marion, what is he doing? What you finna do, Kobe? What you finna do, Kobe? What you finna do, Kobe? You finna do, Kobe? Look at him. Look at him. Jason Kidd, the next one doing that next year? Come here, get dunked on. Get dunked on. Get dunked on. Look at him. With my foul at? Allen Iverson, no disrespect, but you wasn't a Kobe. You wasn't Kobe.
What a foul. Look at him. What you finna do with it? Jason Williams, no. Stop playing with Kobe. Portland, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Portland. Watch this. Watch him get that butter. Look at him. Oh, oh, I don't care. I don't care. What? He loved a defense. Look at him. You don't want him with the ball in his hand game on the line. You don't want that. What I tell you, you're going to see some buzzard beaters. Oh, this man was amazing. Get dunked on. Get dunked on. That's Steve Nash? Is that Steve Nash? Uh, what you finna do with it? Watch him. Fade away. Fuck you. Nigga, oh, Miami. Dwayne Wade was hot. Dwayne Wade was like, bro, what do you want me to do? It's the greatest defense he can play. It don't matter. That Mamba mentality. Shaq, they had a comeback win that game. I was a little ass kid and still understood it. They had a great ass comeback and won that series. <laughs> Dwight Howard just got dunked on. Look at the oh, oh! oh not, and y'all say Kobe don't pass. Oh, behind the back, spin move. Oh, you thought Warriors? The Warriors hated playing it. Ask my brother. 61. His last game. Last game. Best believe I watched these highlights. He was hurt that whole season damn near. Body beat up after every game wearing ice pads on his legs, knees, all that. And what he do in the last game of the season? Dropped 61 and won. Came back and won. And what he do with the free throw line? Uh, give me that 61. Stop playing with Kobe. Greatest of all time. Who is better than him? Besides Jordan. Don't get me wrong. Who is better than him? Don't say LeBron. Don't say LeBron because he not. Rings do the talking. Playoffs do the talking. What he do? He was 5 for 7 in the finals. Only lost to Detroit and Boston. And what he do? Bounce back and beat Boston. His last ring was against Boston. Game 7. Ron Artest with that major 3. You feel me? Stop playing with Kobe. What well, I tell you, free throw. Uh, dunk on Dunk on Dunk on Dunk on Dunk on uh. Oh, come here. Oh, stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. Uh, uh, give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Where Kobe at? Give it to me. Uh, give me that game, Steve. I got a friend that's a Warrior fan, which is my brother. He, They hated playing Kobe because Kobe wasn't playing with Sorry about that. My grandma called me, y'all. Let's get back to this video. Oh, matter of fact, like I was saying, I got a friend that's a, uh, a Phoenix Suns fan who, oh my God, he knows how Kobe did them every year in the playoffs. They was not making a pass, no. <laughs> so if he was a, a Suns fan back in the day, I felt bad for you if you was playing with Kobe. I, if he was a Warrior fan, I felt bad for you. If you was a fan of anybody, I felt bad for you because Kobe wasn't playing. Look at him. Look at him. What you gonna do with it? Fade away. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. Fade away. Bucket. You see how he just walked down the court? You see how he just walked down the court? Let's go back. Watch how he just walked down the court. 
Watch this. Uh, he know I said goodbye. This ain't Chris Bosh. Toronto wasn't doing nothing that year. Kobe. Kobe. Uh, fade away. He went for 81. 81. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He went for 81 that game. That was the last highlight, but he went for 81. The second most points in NBA history. But look at this way. The first time, it, Will Chamberlain, it was never on video, so nobody's ever seen it. But we've seen Kobe score 81. We've seen him score 61 multiple times. Kobe is the GOAT. You feel me? He is the greatest player of all time. If y'all don't believe me, then I don't care. You feel me? That's in my eyes. Everybody in this generation knows who Kobe was and know how hard this is for us to get over this. Like, this is something going to hurt. This is going to hurt for a lifetime. This is not going to be a couple months and we're going to get over it. This is going to hurt forever. Because we lost a, a icon. Like, this was literally our Jordan. Like, he was our Jordan. And we lost him at 41. 41. I just should show you, tomorrow is not promise. It's truly not. So cherish everybody you love, everybody you care for. If you got to call somebody right now to let them know how much you care for them, do that. Because you don't know if they're going to wake up tomorrow. You truly don't. So if you're new to this channel, like, comment, subscribe. You feel me? R.I.P. Kobe. R.I.P. Gigi. R.I.P. everybody that was on that helicopter. All nine people. Everybody. My prayers go out to all a family. You feel me? I'm going to keep everybody in my prayers because I know how, how that feel. You feel me? I've lost somebody. <laughs> this shit hurts. It do. It don't feel good. It don't. So, like I said, everybody subscribe. You feel me? It's the Wavy Boys. I'm out. I want to be the best. I want to be the best. That's why I play the game. But to be the best, you have to win. And that's what drives me. He's the best player in the game. It's just that simple. There's nothing that Kobe Bryant can't do. He will defend your best player. He will shoot from the perimeter. He will get all in your mark. He will do whatever it takes. He is the most complete basketball player in the game today, bar none. He has an assassin's mentality. I said this week, I said this when the trade went down, and I repeat it again. Who's starving more for an NBA World Championship more than Kobe Bryant? There is no one. This guy is highly motivated. Separates Kobe from the pack. From the pack. More than Kobe Bryant. Bryant. There is no